Hello. It's good to see you. Today we are back with some items from Aldi. I just got back from there. I only went in there for a few things, but I actually ended up finding a lot of stuff. Um, I found quite a few things that I wanted to try. Some new things, some seasonal things that just look like they might be worth trying out. Um, so this isn't everything actually. Of course, um, like always, I already put up my meat and my dairy products. Um, I got some uh, some sour cream and some butter. We're actually going to make something. I don't know that I will get to it this week. I might. We're going to make snickerdoodle bread. And uh, it's it's supposed to be... It's supposed to be really yummy, but I had to get some cinnamon baking chips and no stores around here had them, but I found some on Amazon, so I had to actually order them on Amazon. I better go see what Evie wants. Hang on a second. <laughs> okay, I'm back. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're going to make snickerdoodle bread and it sounds really yummy. Um, I, so I had to get cinnamon baking chips to make that. And I ended up buying three bags because I could get, I could buy one bag or three and there wasn't a huge difference in the price. So I just went ahead and got three bags. So I'm going to find something else to make with the other two bags of these cinnamon, uh, little cinnamon baking chips. They're made by Hershey. Um, I've never tried them. I'd never even heard of them before. Um, so yeah, we're going to try those later. But today we're going to look at the stuff from Aldi and I have a ton of stuff over here. I mean, I even have just like big random stuff. Like I feel like I should be running in the Olympics with this thing, you know, like the flaming torch. You know, this is, um, I bought four of these. These are outdoor lights. These are uh, like little patio lights. And you see they have the solar panel right up here. This adorable little solar panel I did buy some on Amazon. But I have to say I was very disappointed in those uh, outdoor lights. I, there were 20 lights in the package. And literally, um, after I got them out and put up, I made sure they were all turned on. Everything was okay. After two days, only two of them still worked. They didn't get rained on or anything. Nothing happened. They almost all stopped working within two days. So I sent them back. So we're going to try these. Um, these are from Garden Line. And it is a solar path light. And it says that you put them four to six feet apart. So I got four of these. And it's the same as the others. The stake is in here. And you just take it out, invert it. Stick it back in there and it has the little stake that you just stick down in the ground and there you go. So they're heavy too. They're nice and big and heavy. So I have four of those. Those were $9.99 a piece. I kept waiting for them to get marked down, but they never did. Um, and they only had a few left, so I went ahead and grabbed I went ahead and grabbed four of those. Okay. I have lots of random stuff like that. Let's start with the crinkly things first. I always try to get those done first so it doesn't come along later and it's a loud noise that's, it can annoy people. So um, this is a very popular item in my house. Clancy's restaurant style tortilla chips. These are giant triangle chips like this they're not this big wouldn't that be something if they were <laughs> like that big my goodness uh great for parties um around here the party consists of a kid sitting on the couch and eating them that's the party that these chips typically go to <laughs> um but you get this 13 ounce bag of restaurant style tortilla chips and that's quite a lot actually and they're only i think they're 89 cents a bag they're really really cheap and they're really good. Um, they are, they're just as good as Tostitos in my opinion. They're every bit as good. But a bag of Tostitos like this would be at least three, probably four dollars in a grocery store around here. So um, yeah, I'm really happy to have these as an option because we, um, we love them around here. What other crinkly things? Oh, now this is something I've seen in there before, but I don't think I've ever bought. 
Now these are from Specially Selected. That's another Aldi brand. Um, they are sea salt pita chips, crisp Mediterranean style pita bread baked into a perfectly balanced chip. And it's a pretty heavy bag. It's nine ounces. And so they have just sea salt, no other flavorings or anything on them. Um, they also make pita crackers. I have a box of those too, the sea salt pita crackers. And they are really good. Um, they're good just with cheese or really with any kind of dip because they don't have a ton of flavor. So really, whatever the flavor is that you're eating with that, it's really going to come through. It's not overshadowed by the, the chip that you're eating it with or the cracker or whatever. So I really like the pita crackers. So I thought I would also try the, uh, the pita chips to see if they're just as good as the crackers. I do a low carb diet, so I don't eat many. Literally, I'll have like three. <laughs> Seriously, because you can't. When you're doing a low-carb diet, you can't eat a lot of stuff like that. Now, this is Aldi's version of um, the Idahoan mashed potatoes. They're made with 100% real Idaho potatoes. This is the buttery flavor, and it's from Chef's Cupboard, which is an Aldi brand. And like any Aldi brand, it has the twice as nice guarantee so that if you don't like it, and I've, I've actually done this a couple of times, if you buy an Aldi product and you don't like it and you want to return it, they will give you your money back and they will replace it with a comparable item for free. So it's really great. You can't go wrong. So if you try something and you don't like it, you will always get your money back and you get a replacement item. So it's it's yeah, it's really great. For the Chef's Covered brand, they have several flavors of these mashed potato flakes. This is just the buttery flavor. They have um, uh, like garlic, four cheese. I think they have one that's sour cream and chives. This is a um, four ounce package and it makes four half cup servings of mashed potatoes. And all you have to do is add water I think you just put them in boiling water. You measure two cups of boiling water into a bowl, and then you add all of the contents of the pouch, and you just start with a fork and let it stand for about a minute, and you're ready to serve it. Um, but yeah, these are, I'm sure they're fine. I don't think I've ever had instant mashed potatoes that I thought were terrible. I mean, they all kind of taste the same. So, and those are only 69 cents a package, which is a really good deal, I think. <clears throat> okay, now this is something I really like. I bought these several times. These are Savorit's Original Parmesan Crisps, and they are so good. This is a 100% cheese snack. Now, it's only 2.11 ounces, but there's quite a bit in here. And the package is resealable, which is really nice. Um, they carried these every now and then you could find them, but they didn't have them all the time. So I would really stock up when they did have them. Now they have them all the time, at least in my Aldi. Um, so I don't, I don't have to buy like 10 of them at once. They are, um, I think they're about $2.89 a pack, which if you've ever bought Parmesan crisps like this, like the Wisps, I think it's a popular brand. They're definitely more than $2.89 for a package. Um, they have no carbs and uh, quite a bit of protein, and they are gluten-free. They have no artificial flavors, colors, or preservatives. And they're an, a really nice crunchy snack if you're doing the low-carb diet. It's a really nice, if you want something with a crunch to it, it's really good for that. Or um, you can eat it with cheese. Sometimes, I mean it is cheese, but sometimes I'll eat it with a little bit of cheese. Um, or you can put them in your soup or your salad and replace it to replace croutons or crackers To give you that crunch. It's really nice Now this obviously is a seasonal item Look at this adorable little bag. It's so cute This is a 
4.41 ounce bag or 125 grams of Halloween chocolates, pumpkin shaped. They're not pumpkin flavored. They had these that were shaped like little skulls and they had the ones that were shaped like pumpkins. Um, it's German chocolate. It was made in Germany and I love their chocolates. They're so delicious. Um, yeah, it's awesome. So I thought these would be nice to try. They were $1.99. And it says they're fair made with fair trade cocoa, which is cool. This tiny little package. I thought I would be safe just getting a little package of chocolate, so it's not as much of a temptation. But I've never tried a chocolate at uh, Aldi that I didn't like. I mean, I think, I think it's all wonderful. <laughs> it's all good. Now these I got for my mom. I'm not a huge fan of macaroons, but she is. These are coconut macaroons from Benton's, which is another Aldi brand. The tag for this said it was a seasonal item, so they don't have it all the time. You get one, two, three, four, five, six Belgian coconut macaroons in here. This is pretty heavy. It's 6.7 ounces. And these lovely little Belgian macaroons. Again, I'm not a huge fan, but my mom likes them. And she never buys stuff like this for herself. So every now and then I like to um I like to surprise her with something that I know she likes, but she would never buy on her own. <laughs> I don't know why she won't, she just doesn't. It's not because of dietary restrictions. She just never wants to treat herself, and so I do. <laughs> okay, this is something I like. Now, this is turkey pepperoni. They also have regular pepperoni, like that's made with boar, uh, beef or pork. Um, I do find, though, that the, the turkey pepperoni is less greasy, which is nice. This has to be refrigerated after you open it. But now it does have the resealable top, the little zipper seal. And it's from Mama Katsis. And they make a lot of different things. They have um, Mama Katsis pizza crusts, pizza sauce, spaghetti sauce, stuff like that. Um, but these pepperonis are a great snack and they're a really nice low carb snack. There are five servings in here one gram of carbs per serving and uh, they're only $2.19 per pack so it's it's a pretty inexpensive little snack there <clears throat> I have some different bread today well I don't remember if I bought this last time or not this is from Love and Fresh and they are sliced hot dog buns this is a lovely pack. I've noticed lately that a lot of their hot dog buns are kind of squished, like they come on the palate just squished up a little bit. These are pretty. These are lovely little hot dog buns. Look at that. Perfectly toasted. They're not squished and they look lovely. You can see that you have the red and brown border around the top here. And I already had some hot dogs, but I forgot to buy buns. So now we can have hot dogs one night. This is a 12 ounce package, eight hot dog buns in here, and they're only 85 cents. It's a great deal. And I think they're way better than most store brand hot dog buns. They're heavier, they have a nicer texture, and the bag itself is slightly thicker plastic so it doesn't tear as easily. I can't tell you the times I've bought hot dog buns from Walmart, like the Walmart brand, and the plastic is so thin that it had a hole in it and I didn't realize it. Um, and the bread was all stale right where the hole was. That's happened several times. Okay, and I also bought eight pre-sliced hamburger buns from Love and Fresh. And I was, um, a subscriber sent me a picture yesterday or early this morning uh, that Love and Fresh is also now making a zero-carb bread. Now, I have not seen it in my local Aldi. 
I checked the um, bread section and also the freezer because sometimes you will find that stuff in the freezer section. I haven't seen it yet, but I really would like to try their zero carb, zero net carb bread because there's a difference between zero carbs and zero net carbs. I'd really like to try that. I always say, because I really do love the beautiful blue on these bags. Look at that pretty dark blue. That's a beautiful color. And they have it down here too. Um, and these are great. We use them a lot for chicken patty sandwiches. Every now and then I'll make hamburgers, but we keep, I have the frozen chicken patties in the freezer that I get at Aldi also. Um, and these are great for a really quick little meal. You can get out a couple of those. Uh, you, you just, it takes one minute per patty in the microwave to thaw them out and warm them up. They're already cooked. You don't have to do anything else and stick it in here. And my older son loves to ha have a couple of these after school. Uh, pretty frequently he'll do that. He'll come home from school just starving. Well, he's 14, he's always starving. <laughs> and uh, he'll eat a couple of these when he gets home and that usually will hold him over until dinner time. Okay. Now I haven't bought these in a while. These are also from Love and Fresh. These are their Hawaiian sweet rolls, and my kids love these. Um, these are only $1.39 to get the King's Hawaiian rolls at Walmart like this. They're $2.50 for the same thing. So it's over a dollar cheaper to get the ones at Aldi. And I really like, that's a cool border around the edge too. It's really pretty. Look at that. That's cool different from the hot dog buns and hamburger buns. But you can heat these up. They're already cooked. You don't have to do anything to them. You just pull them apart and eat them right out of here, which is what my kids usually do. They open it up and just eat some right out of, out of the, pa <laughs> the package. They don't bother heating them up or anything. Okay. We have lots of crinkly stuff today. I saw several slow cooker sauces that looked uh, like something I would want to try. Like this apple bourbon pulled pork sauce. This is from Cook House, which is an Aldi brand. So again, you're going to get, if you don't like it, you get your money, money back and a um, similar item for replacement. So this is for your slow cooker. You're going to get perfect barbecue flavor with a dash of apple and bourbon and a pinch of brown sugar, and it's going to be slow simmered for melt in your mouth pulled pork. It looks really good too. So I thought that would be worth a try. I haven't gotten the uh, the crock pot out in a long time. I thought I might um, get it out and try a few of these these sauces. So this was the first one, apple bourbon. That looked yummy. Here's another one. Now this is a pot roast. It is pub style pot roast. Okay. The aroma of braised beef slow simmered in a rich English pub inspired sauce made with mushrooms, roasted garlic, and a splash of porter ale. So that sounds really yummy too. So you can have a pub style pot roast. And all you do is add beef. You don't have to add anything else if you don't want to. And you're going to have a nice pub style pot roast. This is 12 ounces of sauce in here. And it tells you on the back exactly what to do. It's very easy. You put the beef into the slow cooker, pour all of this over it, and you don't have to add any water. And you just cover it and cook on low for seven to eight hours or until beef is fork tender. And then you remove it and cut it into slices and serve it however you like. So that sounds pretty good. We make a lot of lunches around here to go to school. Um, these don't last long. <laughs> you just take these and put them in a little container and throw them in the lunch box. Um, and they do come in a resealable bag. These are goldfish baked snack crackers. This little goldfish. 
And these are the flavor blasted extra cheddar goldfish. And you would think they have a lot more of that powder on there. <clears throat> they really don't. I, I was hesitant to buy these at first because I was afraid that powder would just get everywhere. They're really no worse, I think, than regular goldfish. I just think the flavoring on them is a little stronger. Um, this is, let me see, an 11 ounce package. And again, it is resealable. So, you know, I can pour some of these in a little container to go in anybody's lunchbox. Or they can have some as a snack when they get home from school. <clears throat> so, yeah, these won't last long. <laughs> oh, I had another, another one. I spotted this one up near the register and thought it looked good. Now, this, this is a seasonal item. They don't have it all the time. In fact, they only had one of these left. Um... These are Campbell's sauces. So the soup people made a slow cooker southern barbecue sauce. And you just add pork to it. I don't know how much pork you need to add. Let me see. Oh, you need two to three pounds of boneless pork shoulder. That's what it says on the back. Boy, that looks good though. With your red potatoes and your cornbread. Look at that. That's a wonderful meal right there. Now this is five servings in here, and it is a 12 ounce package. And it's just very simple. You just, where the notches are, you just tear it open, and you pour it into your slow cooker with the pork. And I don't think you even have to add any water to it. Um, no, I think you just pour it in there, and that's, and that's it. You just pour it over the pork shoulder and let it simmer in there on low for however long. It doesn't say, does it? I was actually looking to see if it told you what to do. No, I guess you just make it however you want. Oh yeah, it does. It's right in front of my face. Yeah, same thing. You cook it on low for seven to eight hours or until pork is fork tender or on high for four to five hours. So there's that. Pretty awesome. Um, here is another favorite snack around here. My older son loves these. Now I know, I yes, he has a peanut allergy and a lot of people worry about that. He has never had a problem with, he has no other allergies related to nuts. He can eat any other kind. Um, it's just peanuts. He has no tree nut allergies whatsoever. Um, he's been eating these for years and he's never had a problem. These are just sunflower kernels, and they are roasted and salted. You can also get these unsalted. Um, I kind of like the salted ones better. Let's see. Not too bad on carbs, but you can't eat a whole lot of them, though. You have four grams of net carbs per serving. And these are very inexpensive, too. I think they're only $1.59 per package. And this is a 10.5 ounce package of sunflower kernels. And they're already shelled. You don't have to have, you're not going to have sunflower shells everywhere. Yeah. So, it's pretty awesome. Okay. Let's see. Oh, let me show you this. I meant to stick these in the refrigerator, but I didn't. Strawberries. The price of the strawberries is slowly starting to go up. Um, they're now $2.25 per package but it's still cheaper than the grocery store. And look at those big, beautiful red strawberries. Now these are from Central West, product of the USA. And uh, that's a pound of strawberries right there. They were, not too long ago, they were $1.25 per package. So they've gone up a dollar, but, oh, I bet that little one's good. I find the smaller ones like this are really, really flavorful and juicy, more so than the larger ones. I want that one right there. <laughs> they were supposed to have, they had blueberries for $1.99, but they were out. I was going to get some, but they didn't have any. Now, here is another limited time item I thought would be cool to try. These are Hanson's Natural Cane Soda Root Beers. Um, you get six of these. Uh, they are non-GMO. These are 12-ounce cans. 
I think they were three twenty nine for the twelve for the six pack of uh, root beers. I'm not a big root beer fan, but most of, both of my kids love root beer, um, and I might let them have one. I'll just stick them in the fridge and let them have one every now and then. Okay. Next, we have Berry Hill Concord Grape Jelly. This comes in a plastic container. I, and is, the, this jelly is made from real Concord grapes. And it's quite wonderful. I can't tell the difference between this and brand name jelly. It tastes exactly the same. And I think it's only about a dollar. I think it's like a dollar nineteen for this 30 ounce container of jelly. This top of the lid here has a little place on it. Then once it's open, the little button pops up and you'll know that it's been opened. Of course, it's still sealed because it has not been opened yet. Um, but that way you know it's been opened. This part is plastic. And this part is plastic. Fully recyclable. Okay, let me see. Oh. And this right here is, is wonderful. If you like Nutella, but you don't like the price, and you have an Aldi near you, I would highly recommend trying their Berry Hill hazelnut spread. It's the, I mean, it tastes just like, to me, it tastes just like Nutella, maybe even a little bit better. Um, now this is a 13 ounce container of their hazelnut spread, just like Nutella, but it's a lot cheaper than Nutella. And it's, um, yeah, it's really good. If you have not tried it, I highly recommend it. And of course, again, um, it, it comes with the money back guarantee. If you don't like it, take it back, get your money back, get a comparable item. Of course, I don't know what the comparable item would be because they don't carry Nutella, but they will, they will make it right. They, they are so wonderful about that. They will make you happy. So it is made with skim milk and cocoa. And if you like Nutella, you know, it's, it's good with everything. It's also good just by itself. <laughs> it's awesome stuff. And we have here Berman's Original Barbecue Sauce, which is another Aldi brand. It's kind of like Sweet Baby Ray's Barbecue Sauce. It's really good. It has a really nice flavor. It's not too sweet. Um, this is an 18 ounce container and at my Aldi, it's only 98 cents for this container of barbecue sauce. And of course, you know, it comes with the little squeeze top. You're going to just sort of cut the seal along here and then you are able to twist the lid off and it has a little uh, spout, a little place up here, kind of like salad dressing does. Or you can take that off altogether if you're like just pouring it in. Because one really easy thing that I like to do is get a, a bottle of barbecue sauce like this and some boneless skinless chicken breast and you just put the chicken breast into your slow cooker and a bottle of this, just pour the whole bottle in there. You don't have to add any water or anything and just cook it on low for about six hours and it makes the whole house smell good and it tastes wonderful. It makes wonderful barbecue chicken. Any, any kind of barbecue sauce um, will work for that. Let's see. Um, I also have some juice here. We, we get this uh, pretty frequently here. It's very inexpensive, but actually really good. It's like V8 Splash, which I'm kind of surprised they could call it Splash without it being a trademark violation, but I, apparently they can. It doesn't have V8 on it, but I think I would think that the holder of the trademark for V8 Splash would still contest that, but maybe they didn't. They didn't get anywhere. I don't know. But this is from Nature's Nectar which is another Aldi brand. This is a 64 ounce container of Berry Blend Juice. It is flavored with juice beverage. It is a blend of juices from Concentrate and it has a great amount of vitamin C in it. And this, yeah, 64 ounces. And it's pretty popular here along with this one. This is another flavor of Nature's Nectar Splash. 
tropical blend and it looks like it has pineapple and mango in it and kiwi fruit it's just a tropical blend of stuff and it's a lovely bright orange color yummy let's see it was also the winner of the parent tested parent approved something award ptpa.com <clears throat> Well, that's cool. And this is another favorite for lunch boxes. Uh, oatmeal cream pies from Little Debbie. Um, they are $1.99 on the box. That's the suggested retail price. They're only $1.79 at my Aldi. And you get 12 individually wrapped Little Debbie cakes in here. Little um, oatmeal cream pies. <coughs> And they never look that pretty when you take them out of the box. You know how they look big and fluffy like that? They don't They don't ever look like that. They're always kind of squished, you know. But they taste the same. It doesn't matter. They taste exactly like they did when I was a kid. There's a thing over there. Ooh. I got a pineapple. I think this big pineapple. Oh, uh, no. This is from Chestnut Hill Farms. And it says that I have just chosen the perfect pineapple. This golden sweet pineapple has been carefully selected to guarantee that it has reached its full potential in both sweetness and taste. And the tag says it's a size six. Okay. But these are all, these were on sale, they were only $1.75. I've never seen a pineapple in any store for $1.75 except at Aldi. <laughs> And their pineapples are great. These are so good. Especially if you're going to make that pineapple and cheese casserole. I think I did that in a video once. Um, fresh pineapple. Once you try making it with fresh pineapple, the canned pineapple is never good enough. It's, this makes it taste so much better if you use fresh pineapple. So, if you want to make it a little sweeter, a day or two before you use it pop this top off and just leave it without this on there and it makes the pineapple taste even sweeter okay let me see here's a crinkly thing I keep finding them now these are pueblo lindo flour tortillas these are the large ones for burritos and I bought some lettuce in there and some tomatoes and I have some ground beef as well and some cheese and we can we can make um, burritos one night this is a 20 ounce bag of these large tortillas and it's resealable there are eight in here and you just rip this little perforated bit off here and that way you can open it up and take out as many as you need. If you're not going to use them all at once, you can reseal it and save them for later. So these are these are very inexpensive as well. I think they're only a dollar twenty-five. You a dollar twenty-five for eight of these, which is really great. Um, I would say a package this size at any grocery store will be at least three dollars. So. It's, it's a wonderful deal. Okay. Let's see. I used to get toaster tarts. And then there was a rebellion here. <laughs> um, my kids said, and now I, I didn't, I think I tried the chocolate toaster tarts. I thought they were okay. The kids said that the pop tarts tasted way better than toaster tarts. And it kept coming up, and they were both saying it, that they thought these would taste a lot better. So I went ahead and just got some Pop-Tarts for them. These are the Frosted Chocolate Fudge Pop-Tarts. Um, you get 12 of these toaster pastries in here. Now they do come in individually wrapped packages of two. So there are six little silver packages in here. 
each one containing two Pop-Tarts. And this is a 22 ounce box. One pound, six ounces of chocolate fudge Pop-Tarts. And I also got some frosted brown sugar cinnamon. They don't normally have these. I was kind of surprised to see them. Um, and while they had them, I went ahead and got them. They are a little bit less expensive to buy these at Aldi as compared to Walmart or any supermarket. Well, they're way cheaper than most of the supermarkets around here. They're $2.75 a box. I think they're $3 a box at uh, Walmart. And they're about $3.50 a box at any supermarket like Food Line or Harris Teeter. So again, you're going to get 12 of the brown sugar cinnamon, 6 individually wrapped silver packages inside this 22 ounce box. Oh no, this one's 21 ounces. You get a whole extra ounce in the chocolate box. One ounce less in here. I never noticed that. Okay. And this is something I wanted. Um, we haven't had salsa in a while. And I thought I would like to have some salsa. So they have this Ma Casa Mamita chunky salsa and you get this gigantic container and it's really inexpensive i think it's only around two dollars for this 24 ounce jar of salsa and it has this nice big opening to it um these scoops the big scoops fit in here the tortilla chip scoops that they make i think they call them big dippers yeah i already had some so i didn't have to get any more the big dippers will fit down in here the triangular ones don't unless you break them and then you can use them. Or you can just pour it into a separate bowl because this is so big. Because if I get one of the little ones, you know, I, I may not. But one this big, I'm just going to pour it into a separate bowl. Um, because between, with, with the three of us, we could eat one of the little ones in one, <laughs> one sitting. So it's not going to go back in the refrigerator or anything. This will probably be two serving so I would pour maybe half of it into a bowl and save the rest for later um, but yeah this it's really good I do like the mild flavor I don't like super spicy stuff um, but the, the mild flavor is really it, I think it's really good now here was another seasonal item I have never seen this at Aldi before this is uh, from Peanut Delight it is maple flavored peanut butter spread. And that sounded really yummy to me. Um, it is a blend of dry roasted peanuts and maple syrup. It is all natural flavoring, no artificial flavor, 80% peanuts. So this is a little 12 ounce jar and they had it with their seasonal uh, food items. They had a maple flavor and I think they had another one that was a pumpkin flavor. I wasn't really interested in that, but if you've ever wanted to try pumpkin flavored peanut butter, you may be able to find it at Aldi right now. But yeah, it was with all the seasonal food stuff, which is usually kind of, it's not with the regular peanut butter. It's going to be off with wherever their seasonal food is. That's where I found it. I just thought I would, I thought it looked interesting. I wanted to, I wanted to see what it tasted like. Now this is another thing that I have discovered I like. Uh, this is from Simply Nature, which is also an Aldi brand. It is creamy almond butter. Um, and it contains almonds, sugar, palm oil, and sea salt. And that's it. It has lots of protein and it's gluten free. And the carbs aren't terribly bad. Um, you can have two tablespoons of this for four grams of net net carbs um, And it's really good. You kind of you of course you have the oil up on the top You have to kind of stir it up before you eat it. Um, it's non GMO And it's um, it's really good It's just it, it's a nice flavor and it's really good with a, a pita chip or you know, Honestly just by itself is pretty good um, so a nice little snack there and that is a 12 ounce container now here's another thing I haven't made in a while 
salmon patties. If the way I make them is really simple, anybody can do it. I know a lot of people will add peppers, um, like cut up green peppers and onions to their salmon patties. I don't like them like that at all. Um, basically, I just end up making meat biscuits is what they are. You take a can of salmon, like this one from Aldi, Northern Catch. Um, yep, and that's an Aldi brand. And all I do is add to it a mixture. I'll take half regular bread crumbs and half Italian bread crumbs and I mix them together and I add it to this in a bowl and I just mix everything until it's all mixed. You can use your hands. Generally, I use a fork to do it because I don't like to put, get my hands in there. So you get a, you you add breadcrumbs until you get it into a nice firm consistency. You don't have to add any oil, but you do need to add an egg to hold it together for to bind it. You can add an egg and breadcrumbs to this can of salmon. Mix it in a bowl until you get a nice firm patty that will hold together, and you put oil in your pan. Honestly, I think olive oil tastes better. You can use any kind of oil. You can use vegetable oil or whatever. But I think olive oil adds a better taste, even though it's a more expensive oil. And I know a lot of people don't think you should use it. I've been using it for years, and I just, I've never had a problem, and I think it tastes better. And you just fry them. You just turn them over. You know, you fry them, get them nice and brown, cooked all the way through. And they are so good. It is such a nice filling, inexpensive uh, addition to any meal. And uh, it has, you know, it has omega-3s, protein, all kinds of good stuff in here. And it's, um, it's easy to make. If you've never cooked anything before, this might be something you could try. It's really not difficult at all. And with a little practice, you can, you know, it's like nothing to make them. Oh, I also got strawberry preserves. Yeah, and this comes in a glass jar, and it is also from Berry Hill, just like the jelly. Now, this is an 18-ounce jar. It is more expensive than the jelly. Um, I, it's more expensive to make, so that makes sense. Um, it's a nice little treat. It has really nice strawberry flavor to it. And again, it's um, Aldi, so if you don't like it, return it, and you get your money back and a replacement item. It's, um, it's, it's really good. It's really good. I would say it's just as good as the higher-end preserves that you get anywhere else for 4 or $5 per jar. It's, it's every bit as good. Oh, and corn. <laughs> My younger son loves corn, and um, I bought some the other day, and he gobbled it all up, and he wanted more. Um, so Aldi has this these packages of four for $2.25, and he's enjoying all the corn he can because there's a pretty good chance he's going to be getting braces early next year, and he won't be able to, you can't eat corn on the cob when you have braces. You can eat it off the cob, but you're not supposed to eat it because it can mess up your brackets. So he wants to enjoy all the corn that he can. He loves this stuff. He wants to eat all he can before he gets his braces. <laughs> so, yeah, um, I happened to be walking by and I saw this and I thought I would grab some. So that'll be, he will be very pleased to see that with uh, dinner one night. And Downy Unstoppables. This stuff smells so good. This is my favorite scent. It's just the fresh scent. And if you ever want to know what it smells like, you can kind of squeeze and sniff. You just squeeze it down here. And there are tiny holes in the top where you can smell it. You just squeeze it a little bit and it sort of lets you get an idea of the scent of the item. And you add this. It's an in-wash scent booster. It's not a fabric softener or anything. But I really love the way this stuff smells. I got some as a sample from Walmart once and I loved it. And I've been using it ever since. I really love the way it makes everything smell. It's so nice. They have a couple of other scents, but th I, this is really my favorite one. The other ones are okay, but this one's the best, in my humble opinion. Okay, now let's see. 
an assortment of things over here. I ran out of laundry detergent while I'm almost out. This is Tandle um, Original Laundry Detergent. I think last time I got Hawaiian Breeze scent. This is like Gain Detergent, only it's a lot cheaper. I think it's $5.69 and you're going to get 64 loads out of here. It is wonderful laundry detergent. I have absolutely no complaints. It works every time for me. And um, it smells, to me it smells just like the original Gain, which I always liked the way it smelled. But I just, I add this to it. <laughs> I just like the way that stuff smells. Because, well, the scent doesn't really last. After you wash it and dry it, the scent lingers briefly, but then it just kind of goes away. But if you don't like scented laundry detergent, you know, they also have, um, they have an unscented, they have a detergent with no scent, no perfume, and no dye. I think it's kind of like all free and clear. Sometimes they don't have it, um, but when they do, it's in a white bottle. I think it's about this size, and um, it's, it's inexpensive. I mean, it's fairly inexpensive. I've not tried it. I used to use all free and clear when my kids were small. I would wash their clothes and stuff in the, the uh, detergent like that. But yeah, if you, if you like a detergent with no perfume and dye, and, and you are buying a more expensive kind and you have an Aldi near you, it might be worth trying theirs out to see if you like it. And, uh, you know, you might find something that you like that's cheaper. And since we're going to be doing so much with these sauces, I thought I better grab some slow cooker liners. They keep these with the plastic wrap and the garbage bags and things like that. These are like the Reynolds slow cooker liners. They are BPA free and I love these so much because when you're done you just lift it out and you don't have to scrub the inside of your slow cooker and there's no mess and it's wonderful. I love these so much. Um, I always use these. I don't ever use my slow cooker without one. So I couldn't remember if I had any or not. So I went ahead and, and grabbed a box of those. Now, a minute ago, I showed you the pita chips. These are the Savor It's Sea Salt Pita Crackers. They also have these in a garlic flavor. Um, I haven't tried that one, I will admit. I don't, I don't know how it is. This is just plain sea salt. No other uh, flavorings or seasonings or anything. A five ounce box. And there's quite a lot in here because they're very lightweight. When you open the bag, there's very little air in it. I mean, they only come all the way up to there, I would say. Quite a lot in here. And they're good with everything. I mean, you can eat these with anything and it's good. <laughs> because the flavor of what you're eating really comes through. And the cracker itself doesn't overshadow the flavor of what you're eating. So it's really nice. So, these are good. And I also got some of these Savorits White Cheddar Cheese Crackers. Cheesy little crackers, ideal for snacking, party trays, or for a fun addition to lunch. They have the regular cheddar also. These taste to me just like Cheez-Its, and they're a lot less expensive. Um, they are naturally fruit flavored and have no high fructose corn syrup. This is a 12.4 ounce box. And these are really good too. These are good with snacks. Because again, you don't have that super strong flavor that overpowers everything else. I think the white cheddar is even better for that because the, the orange ones have that sharp cheddar flavor. And those kind of, these white cheddar ones kind of don't. And here's something I don't think I've ever bought at Aldi before. Welby ibuprofen tablets. I was running low on ibuprofen. So I saw that they had this package of 100 coated tablets. I think it was $1.99. Um, standard dose, 200 milligrams per tablet. And I use these for my migraines. I very rarely get regular headaches. And I don't really get migraines that often anymore. I used to get them much more frequently than I do now. Thank goodness they, they seem to have tapered off substantially, which is wonderful. Um, but it never hurts to have a little ibuprofen around. 
once you hit 40, you will really appreciate ibuprofen. If you're like me, the older you get, the more you appreciate it. Okay. And this is a cooking spray. This is from Carlini. And it's an olive oil cooking spray. And it has it is made with real extra virgin olive oil. And it's really great for spraying cookie sheets or pans and pots, you know, whatever you don't want to stick. It's wonderful. Um, and it's very inexpensive. It's only around $2.29 for this five ounce container of cooking spray. And it takes me a while. It takes me a while to go through one of those. Um, these are for my younger son's lunch. These are from Lunch Buddies, which is another Aldi brand. You can see in there we have containers of mixed fruit, cherry mixed fruit, and these come in 100% fruit juice in the little cups. You can see the little red cherry in there. You get four little cups in here for $1.69. Each cup is four ounces and it contains peaches, pears, pineapple, and cherry. Really good. And then I have one thing, le one thing left. Shells and cheese. Now we don't eat this too often anymore. I think my kids got sick of it. <laughs> it's like, I made it one time and they looked at me like, oh God, not again. So I quit making it for a while. But I do like to keep at least two boxes of this in the pantry or in the, in the cabinet. Um, it's, it's a nice little addition to a meal if you just need a little something extra to go with whatever. Um, like a lot of times I'll have some leftovers. We'll have leftover night and I may have a little bit of steak in there or you know, some leftover chicken or whatever, and some green beans or some sort of vegetable. And I'll just make a, a pot of this to go along with it and to kind of round it out a little better. But this is like Velveeta Shells and Cheese Original. And they had these on sale for only, only 99 cents. It's a 12 ounce package. And it makes a pretty good amount of, um, of pasta with cheese. Of course, the sauce comes in that um, package. It's that liquid cheese stuff. And you just mix it in once you cook and drain the pasta. Very easy. And it's quite lovely when it's all ready. It's really good. Yeah, so since it was on sale for 99 cents, I went ahead and grabbed one. Just add it to my, my stash in the, in the cabinet. <laughs> So I think that is everything. I got quite a bit today, and um, I am very glad that I could share with you. I really hope that you enjoyed it, and I hope that you have a great day. I'll see you again soon.